We spent a few days exploring California's Pacific Coast Highway from Monterey to Big Sur. These are the things to do and places to see along the way. Located two hours south of San Francisco, Monterey is the jumping off point for California's Pacific Coast Highway Route 1. The drive from Monterey to Big Sur is less than an hour, but the scenery and adventure packs a huge punch. To really experience everything there is to do, we suggest spending a long weekend exploring this epic coastal route. We're here with Adventures by the Sea in Monterey, and we are about to go kayaking out to the Marine Reserve. We're gonna see some seals, we're gonna see some sea lions, we're gonna see some otters. It's gonna be amazing. Our first stop was to get out on Monterey Bay to explore the Wildlife National Marine Sanctuary. Wow, you couldn't ask for a better launch site, right? Look at that, nice and calm. And we're off with Jan. I can tell it's gonna be an awesome day. Let's go. Monterey was once known as the sardine capital of the world with canning and fish factories lining Cannery Row. Today it's a popular tourist area with shops and hotels lining the waterfront and a busy pier. Monterey Bay is a marine sanctuary with the Monterey Aquarium doing great work preserving the marine habitat. It's home to sea lions and sea otters and the best way to explore this is to get out on a kayak. What a day for kayaking. I think that they said that it's hardly ever this uh, smooth as glass. So we're getting lucky here on our trip in California. Uh, this is fantastic. It's so beautiful back here in Monterey. You got to come out here and do it by kayak. It's the best way to see it. here in Monterey. Yeah, you, when you come here, you have to do it. It's a great way to take in the bay, as well as see sea lions, otters. There's tons of wildlife here. All right, we're here in Pacific Grove, getting ready to head out on our electric bike adventure here with Big Sur Adventures and Joaquin. He's gonna show us the beautiful scenery all around here. Can't wait. Let's go. Okay. 17 mile drive is a scenic road that takes you through one of California's most exclusive communities. Taking a guided e-bike tour is amazing. Bikes can reach speeds of up to 20 miles an hour, letting you cover a lot of ground. But you don't have to worry about entry fees or traffic. Our tour started in Pacific Grove and ended in Carmel by the Sea. Well, traveling by e-bike is definitely the way to go. You can cover a lot of ground fast and you want to here because there are so many great stops to see the spectacular scenery. Like, check this out. There are many sites to see along the way and we suggest taking at least a half a day to explore this. There's the beautiful rocky outcrops of Lover's Point. Pacific Cove Marine Gardens and Conservation Area is beautiful and you might just see sea otters playing in the surf. The artist John Denver crashed his plane just off the waters of Pacific Grove and you can see his memorial standing at one of the stops. This is a big bird nesting area and you'll be able to see that at Bird Rock. But the most iconic view on this ride is definitely the Lone Cypress. It's become a staple shot of the 17 mile drive. But we prefer the ghost tree. I thought this was just more of an ominous and picturesque view.
All right, we're out here in Carmel by the sea in California with Carmel Surf Lessons and Nick here. He's going to take me out there, teach me how to surf. Carmel by the Sea is a great place to spend some time. It's a lovely waterfront with a sandy beach and this is a great place to try your hand at surfing. The waves are small with a sandy break making for the perfect introductory to surfing in California. We took some lessons with Carmel Surf Lessons where we learned some techniques on the beach to help us stand up and ride the waves in a safe and fun environment. It's fun! Alright, had an epic time here surfing at Carmel by the beach. You gotta come down and try it, you know? Even if you've never surfed before, you saw me, you can get out there and get the hang of it. Come on down here and do it when you're in Cal. Heading out of Monterey, there's a lot to see along Highway 1. Garapata State Park is a good spot to get out and stretch your legs. This one and a quarter mile hike is one of the most scenic stops where a trail winds through gorgeous coastal rocky views. It's a leisurely one and a quarter mile hike that goes to high sea cliffs with sea stacks and rock formations in the water. We highly recommend stopping here. The Bixby Bridge is one of the most popular photography stops along the entire coastal highway. The arched bridge has been featured in countless ads and movies. Most recently you may recognize it from Big Little Lies with Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman. It gets busy so we suggest going at sunrise. When we were there, we had it all to ourselves. A fabulous splurge for the night is to stay at Vantenna Resort. Their private suites offer a rustic luxury escape in the heart of Big Sur. Located in a redwood forest, there are hiking trails and if you don't want to stay in the lodge, you can go glamping as well. Hey everybody, have you ever wondered what it's like to stay in one of those suites that say Mark Zuckerberg or Taylor Swift stay in? Well, we're here at Ventana and Big Sur and they've been here. So let's take a look at one of the suites. Here we go. This is it. There's our bed, fireplace. Oh, there's Deb. Got a nice little office here. Come around, you can see the balcony and check that out, man. Pretty cool, right? There are several pools and lounge areas overlooking the Pacific Ocean. They even have Japanese baths. Vantenna is the perfect place to make a base for discovering Big Sur. More scenic stops in Big Sur took us to Pfeiffer Beach. Because it's a little bit off the highway, it's not quite as busy as the other stops. I'd say it's one of the best views on this whole route for sunset. Up along the drive is McWay Waterfalls. It's an 80-foot cascading waterfall that goes directly into the ocean and it's only one of two in the state of California. McWay Falls located in Julia Pfeiffer Burn State Park is another beautiful stop. There are hiking trails that lead out to the very picturesque McWay Falls that are in a perfect horseshoe bay. And these are the stops we made along a three-day trip along the Pacific Coast Highway to Big Sur. If you enjoyed our videos, make sure that you subscribe and click on that bell so you get notifications each week because we don't want you to miss a thing.